What's going on, guys? DJ F here. Sorry for the non-cinematic intro and all that special editing I've been doing lately. Uh, I just want to get this video out of the way because a lot of people ask my opinions on how I feel about the the second beta of FL Studio 12.9, and I'm going to weigh in on that. So first off, I'm a little disappointed, but I guess I could holler at ImageLine because I do own a license unlike another person on the internet there that doesn't own it. <coughs> internet money. <laughs> but... Uh, Anywho here, one of the main features that I see that they added to the beta three, and I'm going to ask uh, image line if they will allow me to, uh, the close beta. Uh, as you can see, you can drag and drop their first party plugins or their native plugins into the playlist. Now, uh, just to show proof that, uh, you can't do that in the second beta. I guess I could just go ahead and open up the plugin picker and all that. Uh, this is just pointless, but <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, no, you cannot do it in uh, beta two. Hopefully they will, because that is one of the things that I really want about that, because that will overall improve the workflow in, in like that. Because in a, another video, the my thoughts about FL Studio 12.5 video, a lot of people got mad at me for criticizing uh, Image Line, and that was the things that uh, one of the things that I asked in that video. And voila, they've been listening, obviously, because. You know, they have implemented some shape or form here. I hope it works like that for third party plugins. Because, you know, it'd be cool to drop serum in there and and be able to work with an arrangement or whatnot. Uh, so some of the other features that they have changed in this version here as I pull up in the in the FS in the image line forms here. Uh, uh playlist arrangements, uh the layout of audio automation clips etc etc drag and drop arrangements from that uh this this concept has already been around since 12.5 that was one of the things that i really liked about 12.5 um yeah let's see so there are other obvious things that they have changed in here um i'm just gonna go ahead and point it out because it's quite obvious if you look up here you see that uh, it's no longer a recycle sign if that's the right or a refresh sign no recycle sign a refresh sign for like uh, in the transport for like the uh, to select the pattern mode or song mode. Now it just says song and pattern. So that's great for dumb ass people like me that turn around and, you know, forget that I'm in playlist mode or in song mode when I'm trying to lay out a track. So that is uh, Admiral Cree proof there that, <laughs> that they made it so I could be able to people like me that are stupid um, will not uh, notice that. Uh, one thing I do want to test out here, I'm going to test out. And for those who wonder, that is lo-fi melodics right there. So check out MXX Audio. Those are oh, Shout out Tom Gaffney. Gaffney? Gaffney. Uh, welcome to the gang. But anyways, yeah, shout out to you. And anyways, back to this. I want to see if, you know, if that if non-acidized loops will be able to uh, link, lock into the playlist, kind of like how time warping is in Ableton. Guys, calm down. I'm not trying to bash FL Studio for Ableton. I love FL Studio. Calm down. But anywho, uh, so it does not off top here because it is a four-bar loop. Uh, uh, into an equivalent of an eight bar loop in single time. So, oh, actually, a equivalent. Never mind. Uh, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Uh, just never mind that. So, I'm going to try to detect the tempo. It does say 148 here. So, that's cool. It's going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set the tempo to one, uh, 148 here, I guess. And then I'm going to just, Fit the tempo. Fit the tempo. Blue. And now I'm going to set it to song mode. See, I already messed up. Well, close enough. You know, that was the, the tempo that they provided. So that's close enough there. Uh, let's see. If I was to go down to... Oh, so it's it, it's it's not set in real time stretching, so they don't have that. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Hey, Av, go into your channel and go into modes, select stretch." Yes, I do know that. So, and when you do that, oh. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an acidized loop here and I do have a tutorial for acidized loops and I'm just going to go and where are we at? Let's see, go on the triple sace lo-fi, which is a drum pack that we did and find a drum loop that's, that's appropriate. Okay, so that is the worst <laughs> beat I've. That's top five Amber Cree shit beats. So <laughs> we're gonna go and I'm just gonna just time stretch it some more here. And of course, reset to all because I had to do it per channel, which is fine. I mean, I, I don't want want them to have it to where you don't have the option to uh, stretch in real time. It, trust me, guys. You really want to turn it off sometimes. Sometimes you do want to do it. Sometimes you don't want to do it. it. It's just only fair. <laughs> Okay, so I've lost my point of what I'm trying to do here. So, uh, other than that, no, uh, outside of playing in there, you know, I just tested it out. I just want to see, you know, if there was any improvements there. It sounds like the audio uh, in terms of, like, time stretching is still good. Let's, let's stretch it down a little lower. <laughs> Wow. Oh my God. So what I'm testing out is if there is any audio artifacts or whatnot that are induced or introduced when you uh, stretch the tempo down to really slow tempos other than the one that you have ba as your bass tempo. Okay. So I have it at 49. I, I, I expect some aliasing from the track there, but whatever i mean that's really good fl studio did a damn good job in improving that and that's not even in their notes i just know that because that was a part of the of the discussion in the second beta test um as far as their improvements here so shout out to fl studio with that um one thing i do i know people are gonna ask me somebody did ask me to test this out uh slice or x i don't i don't think i have slice x as a as an unlock vst it doesn't say demo on it because they somebody asked me does it have time stretching in this so let's see i'm going to mute uh, the, uh, the other three six mafia one uh okay uh so i guess i'm gonna have to uh, oh well i'm gonna go into pattern one here so I'm still getting used to the. So Slicer X does not have uh, real time time stretching, any type of time stretching at all um, in it. That sucks. That really sucks. But <laughs> there's no other way to put that. Hopefully they will change uh, work with Slicer X on that. Otherwise, your, your other alternative is Serato Sample, which I've done a, a video on that. So, you know, you're just going to have to buy uh, the plugin, a um, hundred dollar plugin to, to get that feature uh, or just work within the playlist. So, you know, other than that, that's cool. So what other things did, did, did they uh, say they improved? Because I'm pretty much going to wrap that up and just just give my thoughts on this because uh, I've already given my thoughts on 12.5 and, and people got upset about it in the comment section. Like I was just saying that FL Studio is trash. Um, I just think that FL Studio just needs to improve just a little bit more on things. And it looks like they are. So, yeah. Transport panel. It says now is the uh, transport panel. Oh, yeah, that was what we already checked out. Um, Edison, you can export 24-bit files. That's okay. I mean, I usually export 16-bit linear or whatnot. Anything besides 32-bit afloat. Uh about the panel open options to show password while typing and no more mistakes. Okay. Whatever. I don't want to show my password while I'm on here. Um, uh, fruity reverb to modulation reverb, uh, reverb uses modulation and mountain speed options to break up ringing and metallic sounds channel rack, uh, menu channel rack alignment channel name alignment names. Can now left 
now be left justified or centered. I guess we could test that out, I guess. Um, I already forget. <laughs> I already forget what it was, what it, how you do it. Menu. Well, I'm in menu. I'm in menu. Um, I, I don't get it. Whatever. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, have fun roasting me in the comment section. I just don't get that. What a minor adjustment there, anyway. So, uh, two new layouts in the mixer: compact alt and wide alt. So I do want to check that out. So I'm gonna press F9 and bring up the mixer. Let's see, compact alt. Holy shit! Let me maximize that. Oh my god, that looks very weird. And wide alt. And I think wide is the one I usually use. I don't. Okay. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, wrapper offset. Uh, latency shows the wrapper info can be set to say per plugin. Used to compensate plugins that consistently report it as incorrect latency. Wrapper offset. Latency shown wrapper in in wrapper info. So what I'm gonna do is I, I'll just pull up a third party plugin. A third party plugin maybe might work here. I pulled up sec sector. For some reason is bridging. I don't know why. I think I'm, I'm supposed to be in a. Oh, let's go. On. <laughs> Let's see. Let's uh, lay that out. All right, let's go. see any information i don't know <laughs> i don't know man this is all bad but i'm gonna i'm still gonna post this guy so y'all can laugh anywho yeah well anyways guys that wraps up this video or whatnot if you want to try it out i will have the link in the description box of course you have to have uh, an official license with FL Studio, so you know to be able to test it out and all that. Uh, please do not leave no fucking comment in my comment section talking about how you got a bootleg version of FL Studio. I don't want to hear that shit because Image Line likes to fuck with me. And yeah, I'm sorry that I'm cursing, but it's real shit. I'm tired of fucking Image Line complaining about my damn channel like I'm doing shit wrong. So please leave that bullshit somewhere else. Anyways, guys, I'm DJ Ab. I appreciate you for your time. It was <laughs> not much really to cover here that I was trying to figure out, but, you know, tell me how you feel. Trap Tendo. Bing.